Hey Vikes, today we have a story on Mortal Kombat. I'm Cody. And I'm Maddie, and here's your daily news. Chaos is tomorrow before the Manhattan football game. Pre-order color today at during lunch or buy it at the event. $3 for one bag and $7 for three bags. Key Club membership dues need to be paid by tomorrow. Pay at the bank or pay Mr. Crummy and you three. Meat sticks are now available for sale. You can buy them during passing period and seminar. Buy from Mrs. Van Gordon, Mr. Wilson, or Mr. Ruda. Do you want to get involved in your community? you should join the Civic Engagement Club. The first meeting will be held during activity period next Wednesday in E5. Now over to sports with Maddie. Hey man, did you see that game last night? Yeah, I did. Man, that, the quarterback just it all up. Yeah, he did. And then the receiver did that catch. Yeah. And then the game was just so completely a Yeah, it definitely was. All right, see you man. See you dude. Stop. There's a better way. Hey man. Hey. Hey, did you see that game last night? Yeah, I did. Yeah, that quarterback just messed the play the whole game up. Yeah, he did. And then the receiver just balled that pass. Yeah. And the game was just awful. Yeah, it really was. All right, we'll, we'll see. see. Hey man. Hey man. Did you see that game last night? Yeah, I did. Man, that the quarterback just it all up. Yeah, he did. And then the receiver did that catch. Yeah. And then the game was just so completely a Yeah, it definitely was. All right, see you man. See you dude. Stop. There's a better way. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, did you see that game last night? Yeah, I did. Yeah, that quarterback just messed the play the whole game up. Yeah, he did. And then the receiver just balled that pass. Yeah. And the game was just awful. Yeah, it really was. All right, we'll, we'll see, see you, man. man. Spirit Club is sponsoring a Spirit Bus to the game at Emporia on September 21st. The cost is $5 and includes pizza and entrance to the game. Permission slips can be picked up from Mrs. Geis in room N14 and are due by September 18th. The Seaman Band Boosters will be hosting a barbecue fundraiser during the football game tomorrow. Blue Smoke Barbecue will be smoking the meats and providing the meal. Come out and support your bikes. Spirit night for the boys soccer team is tonight. Come out and show your spirit as the boys' team hosts Blue Valley. There will be pizza, candy, and other fun giveaways during the varsity game starting at 6.15. Now let's go over to our weatherman, Josh. Well, Vikes, as promised, it is a little bit more cloudy today, and a lot of people have asked me if it's going to rain, and I've been saying yes, just not here. Let's take a look at where it is raining out in North Carolina. Here is Florence. It is moving towards land, and the outer bands are starting to affect the coastal areas here with heavy rain and winds gusting upwards of 60 miles per hour. Let's take a closer look at Florence. Oh, I uh, forgot to move this. Anyway, though, we do have Hurricane Florence here moving very far inland or very far into the eastern coast here. Right there is the center. The eye is not as well defined today, but this is a strong hurricane still. It is a Category 2 hurricane. It has slowed down a few miles per hour, and sustained winds are at 105 miles per hour as this continues to track towards the coast. The track has not changed all too much, still expected to make landfall in either North Carolina or South Carolina over the next day or so, and then it will turn gradually to the north and northeast with time. But lots of rain is going to be dumped down by the system, as we've been saying for the past few days. And now for your SVTV 7-day forecast, you can see that high temperatures actually try to push 90 degrees as we head into the early and middle portions of next week. There is a storm chance Monday night. Now, 
Back to your anchors. So Cody, I hear you have another video game story. You bet I do. This time I'll be covering the original Mortal Kombat and how it invented the ESRB system, which is what gives games their maturity ratings. With the upcoming 25th anniversary of Mortal Kombat in the US on the Genesis and Super Nintendo, I go talk to some of our students to talk about not only the series, but the ESRB game rating system as well. Okay, I think my first arc well, my first Mortal Kombat was the arcade. Uh, I pretty much played it at arcades and stuff like that. And then um, I moved on to when I got my first Xbox, playing the newer versions of it, and including Mortal Kombat X now. Right before Mortal Kombat X, I'm not sure what it was called. I think it was just Mortal Kombat. And then my my thoughts on the original one is just the OGs just. It's just the original, like, it can't be beat. The original game, I'd played it back when it was on arcade, and I actually really liked it. It was very simple, very basic, very fun. Mortal Kombat, originally released in arcades, then later on home consoles, didn't have an M-rated sticker on it, unlike Mortal Kombat XL, the most recent entry in the series. And with rumors of an MK11 in the making, things might get even gorier from here on out with the guest characters that are added from time to time and finishing kill moves called fatalities. Well, I think especially with Mortal Kombat X, it's gotten pretty gruesome with all the blood and like ripping guts out and heads and stuff. Um, the original wasn't that bad because um, it was an arcade game and it was very pixelated, but yeah, nowadays it's, it's pretty gruesome. Well, it doesn't really bother me per se, it just, it's just gore. I mean, it's not like anything bad, really, in my opinion. Not only parents got upset about the blood and gruesome finishers, but so did the media. And because of the uproar, the ESRB rating system was made, which is the system that rates games based on their content, usually going from E to everyone to M for mature. I think, I think Mortal Kombat is, is one of the, uh main things that actually led to it. And I think that us having it now is a very good thing because it can tell parents what to have their kids not play or play. And so I feel like uh, we probably wouldn't have it without the original Mortal Kombat because the original Mortal Kombat at its time was pretty gruesome. And so, yeah, I think that it's pretty necessary to... I think it is needed to show parents that you shouldn't be showing these certain types of games to your very vulnerable children because it could influence how they act, how they talk, and how just basic they are. But with Mortal Kombat being introduced to it, it involved a whole nother gory and violent meter to it. So I do think that it does deserve the rating and that it should be around and parents should pay attention to it. With the amount of blood and gore in this series that earned a DM rating, this game is not for the faint of heart. But if you can handle the intense Mortal Kombat, you should have a great time. Cody Kaiser, SVTV. Wow, Cody, that was so interesting. Well, you learn something new every day. That's all for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.